We're here with Dow Clark at Live for Life uh, doing his 4,000th interview of the day. How many interviews do you think you've done today? Man, I lost count. I can't count on his hands, man, you know, but it's all good. A lot of people are talking about football, but before we get into that, can you tell me what uh, being a part of this uh, Live for Life challenge and uplifting athletes means to you and the rest of the team? Anytime you have a chance to give back to the less fortunate, you know, people who are dealing with the, um, this terrible disease, you know, to raise money and to, you know, to help them out and donate, you don't hesitate to do it. You know what I mean? This is something we do every year, and it's getting bigger and bigger each year. We get more and more people out here supporting, cheering us on. I think almost everyone on the team has participated, you know what I mean? So this is a wonderful, wonderful event. So once everything is over and you're done huffing and puffing and you know, your muscles are aching and everything, you know in the back of your mind that what you did was a, was a very good thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure this is something you're gonna carry with you no throughout your life, knowing that you were able to help when you don't really have to do this. I no, mean, this you is don't. something you it's come the, out and they give us a choice. Yeah. And everyone comes out and, and, and they do it. And you know, like I said, you don't have to do it. Um, and I'm proud of everybody. Everybody's working hard. No one's coasting or going through the motions. We're all competing. We're trying to win. You well, know that's what I mean? was going to say. How uh, everybody talks about the touching atmosphere and you know how how good it is to do it for a good cause. But you guys take this seriously. Take I mean, very serious. how, what goes into picking teams? And are you looking for certain guys who do certain things? You know what I'm saying? We look for strength. We look for endurance. You know, and uh, people evaluate each other in the weight room and out on the field. You know. Who, who has the best endurance and who has the most strength, you know, who can bench press the most and who's the best out on these field events, you know what I mean? And you strategize that way, you know. And you team it up and then you just compete, man. So. And can you speak to the importance of having this at this time of year so people know you have to be in shape? I mean, you can't come into this thing and I assume oh, it's yeah. kind of a, because they used to do this before it was even part of the right. uh, the charity type right. thing. But just to have this at this point of the year so nobody's slacking off. Oh yeah, and it's very important that you be in shape. You cannot, uh, you cannot participate in this without being in shape. You have to be in shape or you will not make it. Uh, you know, we got guys down right now, man. Everybody's leaving it out on the line. Let me look. Look at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and guess what? Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Go ahead. You can look at it. Hey, Varl. Hey, Varl. Hey, man. Say hello to the camera, baby. You all right? Hey, how far are y'all into it? <laughs> he can't walk. You know what the bad part is? He on this side of the field, so that means he ain't even halfway there. <laughs> He's got half of it to they go. They got a while to go. So. How about uh, from you, for you personally? Last time I talked to you, you said you're up into what the mid 230s now, or yeah, I weigh about 235. Lost some body weight, um, body weight, body, body fat, fat yeah. and put on some muscle. You know, what I mean, uh, feel a lot stronger. The arms stronger. My legs are stronger. Didn't lose any speed or anything. Worked on my quickness all summer, all spring. You know, so I feel good. I you feel ever good. worry you're getting too big? Or did, did no, the coach well, you know say what? anything? Uh, right now, I'm fine with this. I don't need to get no bigger. Don't right. want to get no smaller. I just continue to eat to stay where I need to stay. You know, no need to bulk up anymore, man. I feel like I'm in, the, you know, a nice body mass that uh, can be able to take on hits. How do quarterbacks get better at this time of year? Uh, I mean, because, you know, um, how, do you, how do I put that? Is it drill six? There's, I mean, is uh, it I was just about to say, uh, a lot of some quarterbacks, you know, once everything goes well at the beginning, tend to lag off a little bit. Like everything's been going well, let me take a break. That separates the good quarterback from the great ones. If you continue to work the way you started, you know, good things will come out of it, man. We've been working since the winter. You know, yeah. I remember talking to you before, after the bowl game, when I get back yeah. from our little Christmas break and January started Absolutely, spring, yeah. we're working. And we've been doing that ever since then, man, So because we have high goals. Big Ten Championship, National Championship, man. We feel that we can do it. We believe in each and every one of these people on the team, on the coaching staff, and no one believes outside of it. We know we can do it. And as long as we have that, everything's going to be fine. Now, how, do you look at yourself as a starter going into the preseason? I mean, is that fair to say? Uh, um, or is it not fair to say? You know, I, I really don't, don't think so. I think it's like this. It's not like this or like this, you know what I mean? He has his hands kind of even out there. I was a little you know, too tight. It's, it, it's like this, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not leaning one way, it's not leaning the other, you know what I mean? No one said anything, you know what I mean? So I'm going to just continue to work hard so when camp starts and everything works out the way it's supposed to work out, I work hard, produce, 
and, uh, and let the chip fall where they may. I mean, you can only do everything that the coaches tell you, and the rest is up to those guys. So we'll see. It might be me, might be him, might be both of us. So we'll know. Now, one last thing before we wrap up here. A lot of the true freshmen just arrived. Anybody jumping out at you? I know you guys haven't done a whole heck of a lot, but well, sometimes yeah, physically people right. are like, wow, that kid looks good. You know what? I was really impressed by the uh, shape that the guys went in. Yeah. Uh, you know, we take it a little bit easier on the guys, the young guys that just come in. We cut like maybe two or three reps of running off from those guys. Okay. But, you know, those guys are able to hang. And uh, you, these guys are really running hard. They're really lifting real well. And, uh, you know, you don't have anyone that stands out like, wow. He needs to be on the field yeah. or anything like that. But as a, as a unit, they're all working hard, man. So, and we're pushing them. And every time we all get tired, you know, whenever we, we want to lean over and things like that, man, we're not, you know, scolding them or criticizing or anything. We're encouraging them, man, because we're one unit, man. Dar, we appreciate it. We know how uncomfortable you are in front of the camera. <laughs> you say that joking because nah. it's usually fun. But it looks like some other people want to interview you. Thanks. No problem. Good luck, man. man. Yep. Yeah.